This is Snack Size Stories, and today in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, Amber's attorneys gave us yet another lesson on what not to do when questioning a witness. I'm going to roll this short clip for you from the trial of Amber's attorney questioning a former TMZ producer, and her question completely backfires when she starts to question his motives for testifying in this trial. So let's roll the clip, and then we'll dig into it a little bit afterward. Now, if you don't have information that's helpful to this case, then you wouldn't be a witness, correct? Objection. Calls for speculation. Sustained. Uh, sustained. Next question. I'm not aware. Right. Okay. You know this. You know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame. Doesn't Objection, it? Your Honor. Argumentative. I I can ask that question. Oh, ruled. Um. So I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization. And I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank now, you. Now, are you aware that Mr. Depp's attorneys were well aware of the TRO that was. So, yeah, this is what happens when you ask a dumb question to a competent witness. It's usually not a good idea to question the motives of a witness using logic that can also be applied to the attorney doing the questioning. This is a perfect example of a question that has very high risk and very little reward. I mean, this logic applies to any witness testifying in a high profile trial that's televised. Are they doing it just to get on TV to get famous? Or are they just actually being a witness in the trial to get to the bottom of the issue at hand. There's absolutely no way to tell unless there's some type of other evidence pointing towards bias or pointing towards them just wanting fame. There's absolutely no reason to ask this question. And the witness demonstrated how dumb it actually is asking a bare question like this by turning it directly right around onto Amber's attorney. It's also funny that after the attorney gets called out, for having the exact same possible bias she's accusing him of having, she turns it into him being argumentative. All he did was ask you the exact same question or use the exact same logic that you just tried to use on him. And now once the witness did that, she has a problem with it. But yeah, just a little quick breakdown of yet another blunder by Amber Heard's team. It seems to be a recurring theme with Amber Heard's attorneys. They, they ask a lot of high risk, low reward, speculative questions that really do not get to the issue of defamation.